We need justice for him now, today. <laughs> This evening, a family is in anguish. Relatives of a teen killed by an LAPD officer are trying to come to grips with his death. And now the family is filing a lawsuit against the police department. And KKL News reporter Luz Delia Caballero spoke with the family and their attorney. I'll never get my son back. Rene Villalobos is having a hard time coping with the death of her son, shot by an LAPD officer on July 13th. I want to know why this police officer is not handcuffed and charged for the murder of my son. Ricardo Ramirez Jr.'s parents say he just graduated from high school and was on vacation in L.A. with friends when the shooting happened. He was just 18 years old. His journey was just beginning, and that was taken away from us. <laughs> the best brother. <laughs> so young. <laughs> he was so kind. Fired through the driver's side tinted window. The family's attorney, Christopher Dolan, says Ramirez was in a silver Cadillac with three others when they realized they were being followed by an unmarked sedan. Officials say that night, 77th Street area plainclothes vice officers were conducting a prostitution enforcement detail along the Figueroa corridor. They say those officers saw people in a silver Cadillac wearing ski masks and in a possible dispute with the driver of another vehicle. That's when the LAPD says Sergeant Michael Pounds started tailing the Cadillac. The LAPD says it was here near near 66th and Flower Street, where the silver Cadillac Ramirez was in made a turn and came to a stop across both traffic lanes. Shortly after, the officer-involved shooting occurred. The LAPD initially reporting that Ramirez was armed, but their official news release on the case says no firearms or other weapons were recovered during the investigation. Didn't have no weapon on him. He didn't have a ski mask. Like, People are portraying him to be a bad kid. He was a good kid. The only thing that Ricky did that led to his death was to go, why are you? And before he could say anything more, he was shot in the chest and killed. Arms out, hands open, no weapon. After the shooting, the people who were with Ramirez took off, police chasing them all the way into San Bernardino County. The driver charged with evading. They were afraid that they'd all get shot. But I want justice, and I will not stop until I get it. It's unclear if the officer had a body camera on at the time of the shooting. Lustelia Caballero, KCAL News.